Hello there, we are into the back end of February 2021. Uh, the government has uh, presented its roadmap for um, getting out of the lockdown. Um, and we're looking, we're still looking at several weeks away before uh, businesses in particular can start getting back to normal and retail hospitality or can at least start reopening. I don't think we're seeing at the moment any, any particular high profile failures. Um, that I suspect is to come later in the year once things do start to reopen and more importantly um, the government support schemes come to an end and I, I fear that we will start to see some some real problems um, a, a very large number of business failures I did see the other day that Lloyds Bank has um, uh, published figures for for uh, provisions is made against um, bad debts they expect to suffer coming out of the, the pandemic um, one, there's probably only one high profile failure um, in recent months and that is the Arcadia Group, that's Burton and Topshop. And um, that's been in the news recently because the administrators have published their proposals um, and the statements of affairs for the various companies. The media's picked up on a couple of points. Um, rather typically, I've got to say, and I, uh, which, which I want to comment on. The first is um, what they describe, the media has described as a payout of £50 million pounds to the um, former owners. Um, and, and the second one is, is focusing on the pension deficit, the amount owed to the pension company. Um, again, with, there's an under, I think there's an underlying suggestion that there's something improper being going on there um, without actually saying so. Of course, um, they, they'll be looking at Sir Philip Green's involvement um, uh, and there was the BHS pension issue. Um, and so the media will be looking to pick up on anything of that nature. So let's just look at what's actually going on there. Firstly, this, this £50 million pound payout. Um, looking at the figures, there is a loan to uh, two of the companies, uh, to the top shop, top man companies, I think it is, of £50 million pounds from a company called Allsworth Equity Limited. Now, that company is a BVI registered company, so I can't see what the ownership is, but uh, presumably it's something to do with the Green family judging by the media reports. Um, so there was a loan to, to the group, to, to a couple of companies in the group, £50 million in 2019, and then secured by charges over properties owned uh, by the group. Um, and so that means when those properties are sold, uh, the, uh, the, the proceeds will go towards um, paying off any secured creditors, as would be the case if you sell your house with a mortgage against it. So that's essentially what it is, a mortgage against those properties. Uh, 2019, looking back in the history, this is a time when um, the group was certainly going through problems. They went into a company voluntary arrangement to reduce the uh, rent paid to the landlords presumably had financial problems and the owners putting in a 50 million pound loan um, is a pretty positive thing really uh, to try and help the business to survive. If you're going to put that sort of money into a company, um, some may say morally they should they should put it in and rank, rank equally, equally with other creditors, but this is a business decision. This is 50 million pounds going to a business. Certainly if I was advising them I would say absolutely get some security otherwise you're throwing 50 million pounds into a black hole potentially and so indeed it has proved albeit when you look at the administrators report they seem to make it fairly clear that you know the cba clearly was a sign there was some serious financial problems but the the, the close down as a result of the covid pandemic 
is, is the main reason that the business has ultimately failed. And as I've said earlier, there'll be more failures. So yes, when those properties are sold, um, at least some of that 50 million pounds will be repaid. There are other secure creditors in the group, other lenders who have got security. That seems to me to be perfectly reasonable and proper. So the, the idea somehow that they're getting a payout, I think is, is a bit misleading. Um, it's a repayment of, of, of a loan made to the company by um, this Allsworth Equity Limited. And I see nothing at all in proper in that. I think it's a perfectly sensible way to deal with, with, with lending from one company to another of that sort of order. Um, you may disagree, but that's certainly my position there. Looking at the, the pension issue, I forget what the figure is now. It's shown somewhere in the paperwork how much is owed to the um, Arcadia Pension Company. And again, I think the media is trying to suggest that there's something improper, improper there. there. There is certainly a very significant deficit. But again, look at, looking at more of the detail in the uh, report published by the administrators, uh, during its recent trading, the company has, or the group, has been making or being required to make what's described as um, deficit repair payments annually into the pension fund. Um, and there were negotiations when, when, when things closed down to try and um, uh, reduce those. I think they did have a reduction as part of the CBA um, in return for some security. Um, then found, of course, after the close down, they were having problems, couldn't reach agreement uh, over freezing payments, the deficit repair payments into the pension fund. Um, which was a contributing factor to, to having to place the company into administration. It makes it clear that the deficit in the pension, the, pen, the position of the pension, wasn't sufficient for it to be passed onto the, potential, the, the pension protection fund. Um, but it was an ongoing issue for the group, which was having to pour money in to, to, to support the, I suppose, support, try and contribute to the, to the deficit that's occurred in the pension fund. Now, what's, what's the issue there? Um, it isn't the case that there's been some sort of Maxwell-type raid on the pension fund. Um, it isn't the case that there has been pension uh, deductions made from, from employees' salaries and not paid over. Um, not at all. This, this is more, as I understand it, this is a, a large pension fund, been around for some time. And of course, as with many pension funds, investment rates haven't kept up with the, 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 the expectations when the pension fund was set up. And that's led over a period of time to a deficit, which um, the pension trustees periodically require the, the, uh, the company contributing to that scheme to make payments to try and make good that pension fund. This is, this is not unusual. This, unfortunately, is a fact of investment rates against promises in pension funds. Um, there are many large pension funds with deficits. Um, I, indeed, the pension fund I had with Ernst & Young um, is in deficit. And Ernst & Young... Um, Make, uh, make payments into that from time to time to, to um, contribute to that deficit. Um, I do have experience as well of a, 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 of a group I dealt with some years ago, an engineering group, um, which had been around for many, many years. It, had a, it, was, it, it ended up, lots of it was closed down. It ended up eventually with a property and holding company and a pension fund. Eventually the, the property was sold, just left with some cash and a pension fund. Um, which was in deficit, um, and we put that into liquidation, which then allowed that pension deficit to be dealt with by the Pension Protection Fund. And I recall the, 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 the main director, the management director, saying that the, the deficit in that fund seems to change like the wind. Um, it depends on actuarial values, which could go from um, 
trying to pl- remember the figures, 12 million pounds, all of a sudden up to 18 million pounds in a matter of weeks. Um, all a bit of a mystery to me. It was certainly a mystery to him, I've got to say. Um, actuarial valuations in a fairly complicated area. There is a joke told by actuaries that um, an actuary is somebody who found the count of C too, too exciting. So quite a mysterious, mysterious area. But this, but there are many, many pension funds with, with deficits like the Arcadia one. So n- nothing at all improper going on there, I, I don't think. So I, again, I think the media is looking to, to, to sling mud where the, the, there isn't any, any reason to. Um, what will happen to, to Arcadia? Well, that could be the subject of another, uh, uh, of another little um, video, I think, um, looking at uh, what the administrators are trying to do with with that business, which is in in administration. Sadly, more to follow. I rather suspect that, um, retail is definitely an area which change has changed, been under pressure. The last thing they needed was to be shut down for several months at a time, particularly if they they didn't have a really robust um, online presence uh, and were still relying heavily on on. Um, uh, sales from stores, difficult market, uh, more problems to come. That's all for now. I hope that's useful. Let me know if you have any, any questions. Thanks very much.